All right, this is Diesel with People News hey, again. All right, um, this is with this video is without uh, prejudice and or without recourse. Okay, I'm not waiving any of my rights, none whatsoever, uh, through the whole wide world. Okay, uh, anything I say or do is just my opinion, my opinion only, y'all. Uh, I'm not attorney. I am not giving legal advice. So, um, the reason why I'm not giving legal advice is because, well, I'm not an attorney. That's why, y'all. If you can't handle this, you, the matter on your own, then by gosh, go seek one. Alright. Um, this right here is a follow-up from this last video I just did. Okay. And I believe I called it innocent woman went to jail okay and uh, let's see what happened on this updated version of her okay now I haven't heard anything after this and I'm assuming there is one I just haven't heard of one okay but let's check it out Right now at 11, accused, then arrested for shoplifting. A Duval County woman is now suing Publix for negligence after she was tased, then taken into custody after being wrongfully accused of stealing. Why does she give that information? And apparently she did pay for it, but she wouldn't show me a receipt and wouldn't give me her ID. Now that woman and her attorneys have enlisted the help of a nationally recognized attorney to help represent her. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. I I just want to say this, y'all. <laughs> Why didn't she just give me the receipt? Because she don't have to. Because she don't have to. And because she don't have to does not give the officer right to throw you in jail because you did not do your investigation correctly. Officers has been so spoiled about people actually volunteering information they literally have no idea to how to do investigation work anymore okay they just automatically go well you're not cooperating so therefore you're guilty and I don't have to do investigation work and find you uh, guilty and throw you in the dog pen and uh, you are just gonna have to deal with court no, officer, that's not the way it works. It's called due process. You do your investigation. You gather up factual evidence to preside to the attorney general to proceed forward. Come on, officers. Learn how to do your job without people actually giving consent and giving out, uh, waiving their Fourth and Fifth Amendments and Sixth Amendments. That's why. Because she stood her ground and she was not going to assist you in your investigation. Come to find out, she was in the right and you was in the wrong. And you wonder why she's going to sue you. It's not the simple fact you did all these things. It's the simple fact you didn't do the due process like doing your investigation work. Officers out there has gotten so spoiled about this. And, and it's the people's fault. By always volunteering information that they don't need to know. That's the reason why I have the Fifth Amendment. Not to incriminate yourself. That's the reason why we have the Sixth Amendment. To tell them, look, I'm not going to answer any questions until I have counsel present, y'all. Oh, by the way, um, this witness of yours, did he fill out or she fill out a f uh, affidavit of facts? Saying I, hey, he seen me steal something or she seen me steal something? How about this Mr. State? Is this Mr. State here today? To show uh, evidence and as a witness that I 
took something from a store, even though I have a receipt? I'm just saying, y'all. They have literally gotten spoiled about all you guys waiving your rights. And then turn around and you get mad because they convict you, even when you're innocent. They still convict you because you waived all your rights and they're taking different content of the words and using their definition. Like calling you a driver when you're a traveler. That is their definition, not yours. Things like that. Well, then go ahead and sue me. Well, you're not suing them. You're suing the taxpayers. Remember that, y'all. Anytime there's a lawsuit, it, you are not suing the counties. You're not suing the city. You are suing the taxpayers. All due to qualified immunity. Instead of attaching your name to their pensions. To the kids' college fund. To their house. Because you guys are going after the person and not the man or woman that caused you harm. Just saying. Heather Crawford. And I'm Anthony Austin. So this incident, which happened in February of last year, happened at the public store over on 103rd Street here in Jacksonville. All your size, Haley Harrison, has been going through the body camera video, which JSO just released today, and the lawsuit, which claims the woman was racially profiled by store security. So whoa, 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 whoa. Why was the body cam released a year later, y'all? Why is it released a year later? Just think about that. I really wish that we had that other lady that was filming it uh, during the process of being, uh, well, electrocuted. <laughs> All right, I'm just say it. Uh, that was a shocking experience. Deli chicken in a bag of Hawaiian rolls. That's what Tawanda Corral says. She bought at this public grocery store moments before a manager accused her of stealing. Now, despite having a receipt for her purchase, Crowell says she was followed by an officer, tased, and arrested in front of three children she was with. What are you Turn, around. Around. Turn around right now for not cooperating. Cooperating? Turn around. I didn't steal. Tasing you right now. Tawanda Crowell says her trip to the grocery store ended. I mean, sit there and look at that, right, y'all? He backed away. Waited a few seconds. She literally did not do nothing at that point in time. And taste her. She could have had a heart attack, died. It, it, there's many variables that could have happened. Now, if she come after him, that'd be a different story, y'all. I said that on the other video. But to, at that point in time, there was no legit excuse to taser. Period. Just saying. And, uh, since she's innocent, why does she have to compromise? Alright? Now, you, you guys go out there, but she could have been guilty, she could have been this, and could have been that. That's fine and dandy. But in this case, she was innocent, so why does she have to compromise? The same. With injury and humiliation. Emotional stress that it has brought on me and my children. She did not initially hand the officer the receipt for her purchase, the lawsuit says, because as an African American woman with fear and distrust of the police, she worried that the officer might take the receipt from her and destroy it. I had to be blunt about this. Officers do lie on their paperwork. And evidence does come up missing. That That's just reality, y'all. Evidence does come up missing. And they do lie on their paperwork. And they also lie and in your face. Okay? I, I, I'm just saying. 
So, I don't know. You know, she can hand the receipt and the cops will probably give it back and all that. And everything's fine in Dory and Uncle Dory. Okay? So, I'd, I'd grant it on this case here. It would have been easier for her just to show it. And I don't think anything would have become of it. Okay? But that is the problem of the issue. Right? You have to prove you're innocent. Since when? Because I was black. You seen me come through the race. The off-duty officer isn't named in the lawsuit, and JSO did not immediately respond to our request for comment about his actions. But JSO issued body-worn camera captures the moment he realized she did have a receipt for her items. Not. Apparently she did pay for it, but she wouldn't show me a receipt, wouldn't give me her ID. Crowler was arrested for resisting without violence, a charge dropped by the state attorney's office. I mean, he's sitting there begging for a receipt. He had to ask for it at least 20 times. Now just show him the receipt. Just show him the receipt. Former Jacksonville Sheriff's Detective Kim Varner says the officer did everything within JSO guidelines, explaining that tasing comes second. <laughs> really? Everything by just... So, are you telling me, Chief, that he does not have to investigate? Especially when she volunteered to go in there and watch the camera? Are you telling me she has to incriminate herself? Look, y'all. Incrimination could be a bad thing or a good thing, right? It's any information against you. Period. And even good information is against you. Alright? As well as bad. So... Once she handed that receipt, that proved her innocence and that incriminated her. It was just a good incrimination. But it was still incrimination anyway. After voice command. I understand her right now because of the, the, the current climate being like it is with police and, and relations between police and, and the community. But this all could have been avoided. But nationally known civil rights attorney Ben Crump speaking in Jacksonville Thursday, says the problem wasn't proof of per I do agree with that. It could have been prevented. Okay? All she had to do is show the receipt. But, all the officer had to do is investigate. You know, this is just not a one-sided deal. The officer should have gathered up information. It was profiling. This is a case against Publix grocery store for shopping while black. The lawsuit says Publix failed to train the officer or to investigate his background. Now, we reached out to Publix several times for comment, but we have not yet heard back. In Jacksonville, I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. Haley, thank you. A J okay, well, there's the part two part of it, right? I don't know if I should have done this video during the beginning or the other one first or anything like that. It is what it is, but that's the updated version. And yes, I do realize that in probably in most cases, right, that there has been fest in there. But that, dare I say it, y'all, when you open to the public and you own a store, uh, certain things is going to happen. You know, but everything is supposed to be designed, uh, especially by the Constitution, that, you know, to stop innocent people to go to jail. There is certain steps that, you know, uh, has to go through. But the corrupt courts is giving so much power to the police. Uh, look at it this way, y'all. It takes longer to learn how to be a plumber than it does to be a police. Okay? It literally takes longer classes to be a plumber than it does to be a police. Okay, 
do I need to say any more than that? You know? I, I, you know, I'm a truck driver, all right? I got the sixth dangerous job in the world. But I don't have truck driver safety. And the cop safety thing is not even in top ten most dangerous jobs. You know, so officers out there, look, I'm a truck driver. I had truck driver safety. You're not even allowed so much touch a weapon for my safety. Just saying. Till next time, y'all. Bye.